Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a Vietnamese horror game called The Death, or Tan Trung. Although I think in Vietnamese it's actually pronounced a little bit more like Han Chong. Either way, I know I'm butchering the pronunciation. Sorry for that. So I played the demo to this about a year ago, but now the full version has been released. So if you want to try it for yourselves, the links and the details are going to be found down below in the description, alright? I believe in this game I'm going to be playing as a young man who's going to get himself trapped in a haunted house. And I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments either way though, alright? Here we go, let's begin. Alright. Yeah, this is seeming vaguely familiar. Tell me little, why not? Why am I out here? Great question. Okay, yeah, I think this is the way the demo started. Alright. Can I leave? Can I get out of here? Oh! Okay. Well, that works. <laughs> Can we...? No, I guess not. Alright, well, that's not our way out of here, is it? Okay. Yeah, it was only a, a very short demo. Oh. Oh, hello. Looks like someone's in there. Twitching away. Hi- Oop! Oh. hell, okay. Expect jump scares. And bodies to be dragged along the floor. Oh man. That's one way to remove your nose. Alright. Where did it go? <laughs> it wasn't flushed down the toilet, was it? The flush doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Alright. So yeah, I do have a vague recollection of the demo, but I don't really remember what to do. Looks like there's more blood up here. Whoa! What did I say? Expect jump scares, right? I think I see someone in the darkness. Is that the person that was dragged away? Right, okay. Can we go in? No. Oh! <laughs> That's what, like three or four times in a minute? Okay, still can't go in. What about this one? No, alright. Hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Okay, the, the window's open again. Ah, right. Yeah, it, it's it's like a funeral procession, isn't it? Yeah, the body's in here. Right, can we go in? Oh, whoa! Oh, okay. Oh, boy. I think the body wants to come out. Okay. What the hell was that? Right. Is it safe? I don't see the person standing there anymore, and I don't see the body. Okay. Get me the... Hell out of here. What's that? Oh, it's a, it's a bird. It's a crow, I think. Did you knock over the pot? Oh, you got a key! Oh, hang on, that's, that's no crow. What sort of bird's that? Okay. Well, it... <laughs> I think in the first five minutes I've got my fill of jump scares. Bloody hell. And that was just the prologue. Welcome to chapter one. Now the game's really going to begin. Whew. Right. Hmm. Hopefully I get translations for this. <laughs> Gotta be honest, my Vietnamese is a little bit spotty. This is the right lane, he says. Thought I couldn't find it. Okay. Find... Find number four. That's what we're looking for, number four. Alright. That might be a challenge. Okay. I, whoa, what the... Who the hell was that? Hell. 
Okay, yeah, this game is going to be all about the jump scares, I feel. Oh, wait. <laughs> hey, boy! He might be trying to tell me the way to number four. Right, oh, there you go. Right, he's got his barking out of the way. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe it's at the end and... Round... Whoa! How was that? Oh, I can't go around the corner. Was it a ball? Oh, here we are. Just an ordinary ball. Probably of the kids around here. Yeah, probably. Everything's going on in this alleyway. <laughs> Someone's pissed. These kids are naughty again. Alright. What's all that? Oh, hang on. Oh, hello. Please help me pick up some items, she asks. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got a dustpan. Gonna pick that up. Yep, dishwashing liquid. There's the bucket. Got a sponge. Towel. Cigarettes. No, I guess you don't want the cigarettes. Right. Put all the items in the correct order. What? What? Right. Hopefully afterwards she's going to tell me where number four is. Uh, okay. Let's see. For some places, get yeah, items... Okay, so there's an inventory, an actual inventory. Okay, yep. Um, dustbin? Not available. Oh, <laughs> well, I hope it's available. It's in my inventory. Uh, towel, sponge... Oh, it's actually under a tap, isn't it? A faucet. So maybe it's the bucket. Yeah. Okay, then... Okay, hang on. There might be more. No. No. The towel? Yes. Okay. More? Alright. Everything goes in the bucket, apparently. The sponge? No. Maybe the sponge goes down here? Okay, no, the, the dustman goes there. Right, we've, <laughs> we've got to put them back in the right order. I see, okay. A bit arbitrary, but done. How about that? Thank you, dear, she says. Where are you going, she asks. Uh, don't mention it. I'm looking for an inn. So, what house are you looking for? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm looking for house number four, but I can't find it. Do you know where house number four is? What? House number four? Uh, are you sure? Oh, yes, what's wrong? My dear, that, that house is haunted. You have to be careful. I heard that house back in the day. There were a lot of dead people. Remember, be careful. House number four is where the iron door is right behind you. Uh, okay, and that's that. The iron door is right behind you. Apparently. Okay. Well, this one? That would be the iron door then, I suppose. She could have just, like, pointed to it. <laughs> Why did she have to tell me it in a riddle? Okay. Who's this? I'm up here. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey, right. Did you just call me? What's the matter? Are you looking for house number four? Do you want to rent in that house? Yeah, that's right. But what's the matter? Um, my sister rented a house at that house last month before she had to go to the hospital. Oh, God. Why? I, I heard that she was shocked by something so severe that she lost her mind and had to be hospitalized for a long time. Be careful. Right. Thank you. I'll remember it. And presumably the house was the cause. Right. Are we going in? Uh, what are these kids, I guess? Do you want your ball back? You probably shouldn't be doing that. What are you drawing? That's that bird. A couple of nooses? Hmm, okay. I think I'm just gonna leave you to it, yeah. I'm gonna go and check the iron door from earlier. Despite everything that's happened. Yeah. What's going on? What the- 
Maggots? What? Man, please do not rent here. You don't want to rent here. What the hell? <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Visually, very, very interesting. As I recall, I think this game was only developed by like three or four people, a very small team, so makes it all the more impressive, too. Okay, hang on, what have we got here? Oh god, what? Was that a sewage pipeline that's just burst? Okay. What was I using? Wait, is the water rising? Is it? Maybe it is. Looks like we've got something down here. Uh, uh... Okay. I guess the box's code is is just around here. Is it? I'm still trying to figure out what I was using. The red string? Oh man, that water is really rising, isn't it? Okay, right. There's gotta be something over here, right? We've got... Is that a three and a seven? Three and a seven. It doesn't really finish it off, though. Unless, well, we've got... We've got... Two and four as well, maybe. It could be two, four, or three, seven, or a combination of the two. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, all right. What's this? Uh, it's a lighter. All right. It's got a strange craving pattern. Right. And what are we doing? We're burning that? Is, is that the right idea? No. No, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> Not a great start to the game, is it? Uh, alright. So does that mean I'm not renting the place? Oh, that was... that was meant to happen. Okay. It must have been a strange hallucination, you know, a dream or a vision, something like that. Okay. Well, I think I actually got in. Alright. So, this is what I'm planning to rent, is it? Can't get in there by the looks of it. Got anything down here? No. Okay. Vudung, whatever that means. Another locked door. It's very, very dark, isn't it? What's this? Okay, there's a little, like, doll? Oh man. Every move I make in this game is the wrong one, it feels like, you know? Am I cursed? Yeah, it's a toy figurine, I guess, made from rice powder. Cool, alright. So hang on. Oh yeah, oh. There's a number. There we go. It's a number one, isn't it? It looks like a schoolgirl wearing Vietnamese Ao Dai, apparently. I'll take your word for it, but yeah, okay. Oh, this door's locked as well. And that one, that one's chained up too. Right, how, how do we get... Oh, hello. Who's this? A neighbor? Hmm. There doesn't appear to be any sprinting in this game, but he can sprint! Fucking hell! <sighs> I'm just gonna have to harden myself for that sort of shit. It's gonna happen a lot in this game, I think. Hi! Hi! Sir, can I ask you... He's shaking his head like, no. So, maybe not. No! <laughs> no, he's gone! Where did he go, though? That was a quick getaway. What was he looking at? Is there something down here that I need? Hmm. Right. Well, there's got to be a way in somehow, right? And I can't get out of here. I'm trapped. I'm locked in already. Did one of the lights go off? I don't think it was that dark before. Something may have changed. Maybe I just needed to walk back and forth in the hallway a little bit. Oh, alright, yeah. 
Huh. Is that the school girl? Oh my. Oh my. Well, if it's not maggots, it's hair. <laughs> Definitely not the best of days for me, is it? <laughs> okay, chapter two. Uh, are we continuing on playing as that guy? Uh, all right. Oh. Oh, I think he's just woken up. I think that actually was a dream. Yeah, it's that dream again. Right, okay. That explains a few things. Nice setup, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Looks like you got Steam open. What have you been playing? Days Gone? Is that Visage I see? Pacify? I recognize some of these. Not bad. Got a PS5 as well. Hey, he's doing well for himself. Nice laptop. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on. What we got here? Identity card, right. Uh, my name is Do the Dung. <laughs> it's definitely not pronounced that way. It's probably more like Do to Dung. But yeah. Um, great. Something else here? Darling. How have you been after your moving to the new house? My health is still stable. I haven't heard from you for a long time. Your father's running out of patience. Everything's fine at home. Yesterday, Mrs. Tran came over to ask us to be their in-laws. It's high time you tied the knot. By the way, next month is Uncle Long's death. Annual memorial. If you have free time, come home and join us. Mummy. Right, okay. Just an envelope by the looks of it? Right, anything else? Oh. Okay. Who's calling at this hour? I've got to listen to it. That old-timey ringtone from this new phone? All right. Hello? I think it's Ta'an. Hello? Yeah, Ta'an speaking. Are you sleeping? I just fell asleep and had a nightmare. Still the same strange dream that you've been having for the past week? I told you not to rent that house, but you didn't listen. You have plenty of money, obviously, yeah. Why do you have to endure such a shabby place? It's not so much the shabbiness, it's how cursed it is, I think. I, I don't even know why. It's like it pulled me and it called to me. Okay, listen. I found information about the house you're renting. Okay, better than I did. Really? Is the rumor true? It is true. More than 20 years ago, all three people in that house mysteriously died. This case has caused a stir for a long time. So, is that so? Don't you believe me? It's also rumored that the incident 20 years ago is related to the death demon. The death demon? The death demon. Oh, God. What is it? <laughs> He's getting freaked out before he knows what it is. It's too long to say. Now, I'll fax the documents I found on the internet to you. Okay, send it to me. Send it to me. Remember to read it carefully, and then move to another place soon. I don't think this is a good place to live. There you go. My friend's looking out for me there. Right. <laughs> All this new technology and a fax machine. A bit jarring, isn't it, really? But, okay. Alright, looks like we've got two documents. Okay, um, the mysterious death of a family. The public security agency is actively investigating the sudden death of Mr. PV's family on October the 11th, 1994. It's known that the incident is terrifying other citizens and also creating many false rumors. According to the initial investigation information, the cause of death of three people in the family is difficult to explain. However, the scene examination showed no signs of a fight and no property in the house was lost so it's likely that this is not an ordinary criminal case. The public security agency refused to reveal more about the case and said that the bodies had been returned to the family for the funeral. As reported, Mr. PV's family owns a, a quite large fashion store in the Calgie district. However, in the recent time, the family business has been disbanded due to being investigated for the origin of goods. We'll keep updates, uh, we'll keep you updated with more information about the case by the looks of it. Okay. And there's yet more. Ah, there's that bird again. What is the death? Let's find out. According to folklore, the death is a demon that causes Truntang. 
the phenomenon in which a period of mourning that comes unexpectedly while another is taking place. It takes the form of a red-billed bird, which tortures the deceased who died on some certain days or at certain hours, and captures the loved ones of the deceased. In some places, people believe that it's a mysterious god who interrogates the deceased so that they can reveal the names of their loved ones, then the god will take them away. So what is it? It's also known as double death. It's understood as a phenomenon when a family member died suddenly due to illness or accident. Within a short time after that, another family member died with very sudden causes. Those who died later are often the ones who disgusted the person who died first. All right. This phenomenon of people who died at a bad hour and unable to go to heaven, uh, it's also rumored that if a family is in trouble of double death, they can only rely on skilled magicians to resolve it. Right. Do I need to find myself a skilled magician? What about Darren Brown, David Blaine, what are they up to these days? Okay. I guess that's that. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Oh, oh, hang on, right now, I, I need to go online to find out more about this house. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, why is the internet lost now? I have to check my modem. Right, and where is that? Somewhere down here? I don't think there's a way to crouch in this game. Yeah, no crouching, sprinting, or jumping, I don't think. Hidden back here? Oh, here we are. Ah, uh, yeah, this looks all too familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. Alright. Well, let's have a little look around. Whoa! Alright! All I'm trying to do is open a door. Calm down. Okay, the modem is in the hallway somewhere, apparently. Not in the toilet. Ah, here we are. Here we are. Okay, looks like the modem's been reset. All green. All good, right? Check the computer again. Yeah, I, I do like the detail in the environments. Yeah, there's quite a lot about this that I do like. And to be honest, a lot of the jump scares are working, so well done, devs. What? Why isn't the device connected? I reset the modem already. Well, maybe you kicked the cable out, right? I gotta check the modem again, apparently. That's what I need to do. This... yeah, this doesn't seem right. Something's going on here. Something paranormal. Whoa! What the fuck? <sighs> okay. Carry on. How strange. I can't reset it. Maybe the modem's broken, or the cable is broken, because of that damn cat, I bet. That's it. I need to go to the restroom, and then go to sleep. Waiting for tomorrow. Right, so, the toilet. Here we go. This is my kind of game. Hmm. Looks like it needs a clean. Right. So wait, this is this is the restroom. Where's the bathroom? With- oh. Oh god! Oh! What the hell? What the fuck? I... Oh dear. Hello. Who are you? Sorry, this is occupied. You'll have to wait your turn. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, there's some pretty effective scares in this game. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying it. I hope you are as well. Oh. <laughs> that seems familiar. Just like the prologue. Alright, well, I'm still alive. What? What just happened? Well, a terrible, terrible accident by the looks of it. Oh my. You must be covered in blood. What were you drinking? I'm half tempted to use that as the thumbnail, quite honestly. Right, okay. Um, so is the plan still the same? We're going back, we're gonna see if we can just, like, sleep after this? Where was that knocking coming from? Oh! Well, there goes my phone again, right. 
Who is it this time? Ah, it's my friend. Hello, my God, look what? Hello. You called at the right time. I've just seen a ghost. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe he can't hear me. Hello. Hello, to Anne. Can you hear me? Hello. Listen, he says. I just found out more information about the night those three people in the family died. Turns out to be sizzling sound, and he's gone. Brilliant. Hello. Ah, what are you saying? I can't hear you. Hello. He's already. He's already gone. Ah, why is the signal lost now? Right. Leave the house. Yeah. You should have done that before any of this. In fact, you probably shouldn't have entered. You should have heeded all the warnings that you got. Right. Interesting. Okay. It's got a few. Whoa. It's got a few floors. Did that come from up there or or down there? One of the two, I think. All right. Let's uh, let's go from the top down, shall we? What's this? Okay. Uh, it's a locked old iron box. I need to find something to open it. Okay. Or I don't know, bolt cutters, something like that. Anything else? No? Okay. We've got a door here. Locked by the looks of it. Okay. Alright, so down here. Another locked door. What's this? Uh, it's a family photo. Right. Uh, the landlord's family, not my own. The, the fam family, or the Pam family. On the anniversary of Uncle Boo's family, or something. A journal page written by the owner, right. I have to go somewhere else to live. I can't stand living in this house anymore. I can't sell it. I can't live in it. What's the point of inheriting such a place? Though, fortunately, out of the blue, an old man asked to buy a warehouse on the first floor. That place was too old and damp. I've got no idea why he bought it. I'll use the money from selling that dilapidated house to rent another place and stay there for a while. Okay. Something else? A deposit contract? To buy and sell the house. Right, yeah. All above board, all legal, by the looks of it. Oh. Oh boy. We've got a bit of an infestation here. No, we don't. Never mind. <laughs> Simple as that. Can't go through there either. Okay. Right, here we go. You got a shower here, I suppose, at the very least. Another toilet. Alright, down we go yet again. How many floors does this place have? <laughs> that can't be good. Um, Alright. No. Oh. Oh, this is working. Okay. Right. Oh, the... I recognize the corridor. I know which door I came through, but I don't know what I'm looking at there. Chains? Are they all chains? Holy crap. Is someone in there? Oh boy. Right. Leave the house. Yeah, that's not going to be easy, is it? Where are these chains from? Now, how do I get out of here? Great question. I, I need to find something to cut the chain. And yeah, to be honest, that something might help me open the box as well. Right. In here? No. Nothing amongst the uh, the garbage. Hang on. Right, I need to find something to stand up and reach this item. Legs. You need legs. Get on your tiptoes. It's not that far away. Right. Ah, right, the folding chair. Yes, okay. Uh, it seems to be very sturdy. We'll see about that. So... Y yep, I've got it, I've got it. So... Use? Not available. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that makes a bit more sense. There you go. Okay. Got myself the bolt cutters. So, that's going to help with the chains. I am curious about the padlock, though. I'm wondering if maybe I just need to use this instead of find a key. 
Alright, let's see. Pliers Synergy. Yep, it works. What's inside? Wait. Okay, hang on, that's... We've got another doll. Another one of these figurines. You're not going to say anything about that one? Hang on. Is it in my inventory? Right. Yeah, another toy figurine? What was it used for? Not sure. Not sure. Right. Well, I I've still got the... Yeah, okay, I I've still got them. So I should be able to use them on the chains, right? Here we are then. Oh, look. Oh. Is that the woman that I helped earlier? Hang on. Right. Apply a synergy. Yep, it's working. Whoa. Okay, maybe it's not. Why can't I cut it? Am I stuck here forever? Everyone told you, you shouldn't have moved in, mate. Bác gì ơi? Giúp cháu Sir, could you please help me? Bác ơi! Bác có nghe thấy cháu không đây? Can you hear me? I, I don't think so. No. I think you're trapped in your own little sort of pocket dimension here. What can I do? No. Am I invisible to all the ones outside? Right. Find someone to help. Well, that's going to be a struggle, isn't it? Right. Uh, where? It's got to be in here somewhere, hasn't it? Oh. Sir, sir, are you in there? Please help me. To be honest, I did hear something earlier, didn't I? He's not in. No. Save me, please. Oh. Boy, are you nuts? Do you know what time it is? Help me. There's a ghost in this house. What did you say? I, I just saw it. Now I can't get out of here. Are you telling the truth? You met a ghost in that house and you're still unharmed? Yes, but, but sir. <laughs> so I am blessed, he says. Why? Listen, you little brat. If you want to get out of here, you have to get me these things. Okay. You're sounding decidedly evil, but what things? Remember, find me all of these. I'll get you out of here. Okay. Do you need the figurines? What? These what? Oh, okay, there's something down here. Right. Okay, I've got a key. Um, maybe I can use it to open a room in the house. Okay. Something else, too. This is the note from the old man. Uh, what? I need a human finger, a human tooth, and a lock of human hair. Okay. That guy is evil. Right. Yeah, I get trapped in and he says he's blessed. Um, right. Well, the hair shouldn't be an issue. The tooth, I don't know if I've got any loose ones that I could just pull out. The finger, I, I don't really want to lose a finger. Um, yeah. I guess maybe I can find something inside? I've got that key, right? Okay, moving on to chapter 3 now. I don't know how many chapters are in this game. Uh, I, I think the game is meant to last about two hours or so. I'll see if I can do it in one video for you. Right, okay, so this is locked. So, maybe it can be unlocked. Not available, okay. This one here? Right. Not available, okay. Would it be for, like, a cabinet or something like that? It's probably for a room, right? Hey, oh. Okay. What the fuck's this? Something's going on here. Oh. Oh, maybe we're going in there after all. <laughs> Whoa, she... You know, I was just thinking, it's been about five minutes since the last jump scare. I can't believe it. Right, we're, we're definitely not going in here. No, not available. Not right now. <laughs> Alright. This game's a little bit of a roller coaster ride, isn't it? Okay. Let's see. This one was locked too, wasn't it? Let's try this. Oh, come on. One of these has to be available. 
<laughs> ah, here we go. Finally. Right. A little bit dark, isn't it? Oh. All right. Oh, we got a we got a shrine here. By the looks of it. And I've just been locked in. Amazing. Okay. Hey, can you help me out here? I think I'm gonna need it. What's this? An invoice. Okay. Fifty-five packages of incense. 108 ceremonial gold coins, 55 sets of clothes, 22 paper horses, 11 trays of vegetarian offerings. Uh, that's like 21 million dong, right? Yeah, that's that's quite a lot of money, I think. You've been spending this much for many times, but won't be able to drive away ghosts. They probably knew what they were talking about. Didn't seem to work, did it? Okay. What we got here? Something down here, right. Inheritance consent, okay. We represent the Pam family. Uh, agree to let Mr. Pam and V, the seventh generation grandson of the family, inherit the house at number four. Um, the Pam Vu's whole family unfortunately passed away, leaving no will. That leads to Pam and V's, uh, Mr. Vu's nephew, the legitimate inheritance of the house, right? So it passes on to him. Um, Mr. Pam Van V has the obligation to worship and organize the death anniversary for Mr. Pam Vu's family, and he shall not be able to sell it to others without the consent of the family. Okay. Uh, below, another handwritten line. You guys fooled me. This house has been haunted. It can't be lived in. But it's precious. Something else? We've got the family tree here, by the looks of it. Okay. Oh. Oh! Someone's missing a finger! That's convenient. Right, there's a small note with the content the family wants to preserve with formaldehyde. Ideal. If I can find that, that'll be one of the items, right? Something up here as well? The birthday card. Okay, uh, it reads, Happy birthday, my dear daughter. No matter how old you are, to us, you'll always be the cutest little girl. This year, your mother is away on business. Only you and me at home. In return, I've made a very good game called... Tower of Hanoi from old pieces of wood. Let's try to play it. The goal of the game is to put all the discs on the first column to the last column in the order that smaller discs are on top of the bigger discs. Yep. It's uh, a very famous puzzle, and uh, are we going to have to do that? Yep. Yep, okay. Uh, right, so... Arrow keys this time, is it? Sure. Alright, so the Tower of Hanoi puzzle. Okay, we're halfway there. Now I just need to put everything on the right side. It's as easy as that. There we go. Got there. Right, okay. All that for a strange key. If it was really that important, couldn't you just lift all of them up and then put them on the other side? I mean, come on. Right, okay. It may open a room in this house. I'm hoping so, after all that effort that I put in. Man. Yeah, it's not the first time I've done a puzzle like that. Maybe it's like the, the 10th, 15th, 20th, but yeah, it takes a long, long time. Right, I'm still locked in, right? So uh, presumably the key is going to be for this door. No, not available. It's going to be for something else. There's nothing else in there, right? It's just that key. Okay. Um... I feel like I'm missing something. Hang on. Oh, hang on, yeah, what are you doing on the floor? But a picture frames, right. Why did it fall on the ground? Oh, I see, it's meant to go here, is it? Okay, well, let's put it back. Oh. Oh, boy. Every move I make is the wrong one. I get out of here now? No. Oh, damn. I thought I just had to sit through that for a bit. Right, there's, there's got to be something else. Is there anything else out of place? I don't know. What's this? Uh, incense. Right. Ah, yeah, okay. Maybe I can use the incense? Oh, hang on. Yes, yes, yes. I think I had to do something like this in the demo, actually. There you go. Right, 
yeah, just pray that you're going to get out of this situation. Pray that you can go back and not make this terrible decision to stay here. Oh, oh. It worked, but now I'm hearing laughing. Is it the old man from downstairs? Power failure? I need something to light my way. Uh, have I got something? Oh, I do. Yeah, I've still got the lighter. Great. Right. Will that do? It's not much, but... Right. Hello. Who are you? Oh, okay, right. We'll talk later, I guess. <laughs> um... I'm looking in the top left. I'm not seeing an objective. I, I don't know if I need to go like back that way, back to the top. Let's go to the top. Let's go to the top. Let's see what's going on. Anything? No. The box is gone. Well, I guess I don't need to use it anymore, right? Right. I have tried this key with all of the doors in here and nothing works. Nothing at all. Alright. Well, we can go back this way. That. Oh. Oh! Right! Okay, maybe it's through here then. What's this? What's wrong with you? Why let the kid fall in love? Well, it's late. Don't be such a fuss. She's grown up. Let her decide. What to decide? Don't you know he's a street rat? I've already chosen a matchmaker for her. They're young. Rich or poor doesn't matter. Are you still living in your medieval era? I've been taking care of this family for the whole time when you don't give a shit. Such an incompetent like you should not ruin her future. Oh, you're ruleless. Ah, dare you hit me, you brute. You'll regret it. You probably will. Whoa! Gee. Very much feels like a game where I'm not really under threat. Just under threat from continuous jump scares. Right. Oh, come on. It was unlocked a moment ago. Maybe this is where I used the key. Oh, it is. Right, finally. Good, good. Okay. I guess there's a, a power cut here as well. Hmm. Don't know if I like the sound of that. What was that? Maybe something coming from the toilet, that sort of area, at the end of the hallway. Got a bedroom. Some sort of seating area, living room, I guess. The TV, yep. Can we open any of the cupboards, any of the drawers? Any of the safes? <laughs> Apparently not. What's this? Oh, there's a, there's a key there as well. It's a birthday photo. Right. Husband, wife, and daughter. Daughter's first birthday, apparently. Nothing on the back. An old key. Probably hasn't been used for a long time. Hmm. Well, that's about to change, hopefully. Okay. It's so dark, I can't really see where I'm going. Locked. I can't open it. Is that? Ah, there's another toy figurine, right. Wait. Yeah, surely I'll have something to do with it later, so I'm going to pick that up. Okay. Um, maybe this is what the key's for? There it is. Okay, well, there's another key. Another old key. An old key which was kept in a nightstand in a whimsical room on the second floor. I can't understand what's going on in this house. Nor can I. Okay, we've got a notebook here. A diary. Okay, can I... Oh. Right, whoa. What happened there? I think I'm looking at a memory. Hey, right, whoa. What the hell was that? Okay. <laughs> well, the TV's on, so we got power to some things. Are we, are we leaving? Are we getting out of here? I think I heard something from down here. It's not the bird again. Are they <laughs> oh, it actually might be the toilet. Oh, wow. What's this? A small black jar. 
The lid of the jar is tightly sealed. Ah, okay. Is there a finger or a tooth inside that? I'm hoping so. I need to find a way to open the black jar. I think I picked up, um... Diary pages, yeah. Let's see. These... These three, I think? Oh no, hang on. Right. Uh, the happiest day of my life. My beloved daughter was born. I will name her Melin, which means beautiful and sacred apricot tree. Surely she will be a beautiful girl, bringing joy, happiness, good fortune to the whole family. Everyone will always love her. Uh, finally, she's entered university. 18 years passed as quickly as the blink of an eye. My daughter is really grown up now. I hope everything goes well for her. I also had a change. I decided to quit my job to stay home to help my wife with her business because she said she's overwhelmed, but the business situation was getting more and more difficult. Luckily, I still have a small corner in the house to serve my hobby of making my stuff. 20 years being an engineer. Without it, I would be saddened. I can't understand my wife. She forbids her daughter to love her classmate just because his family is too poor. She forgot the day we started from scratch. Our life is then okay. Oh, it's, it's just okay, is it? She probably wouldn't like to hear you say that. Why is she so unreasonable? Maybe because she's unreasonable. Well, we need to find a way to open the black jar. Oh. Where did that come from? Upstairs? Maybe upstairs. I just checked that area, trying the key. Right, we've got two doors to check down here. Let's see. Uh, so, the old key. Not available. Okay, I think it's got to be this one then, unless we're going outside. Ah, it is. It is. Okay. Oh, is this your, your small corner? Wait. Fucking hell. Right, it looks like this is where we turn the power on and off. What we got down here, though? With these tools, I can open something. Well, let's hope that you can, because I've got a small black jar with, I think, maybe a finger inside it. A strange object from the bottle. Yeah, the surface is covered with a layer of black mucus. It looks terrible, but that is our finger, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No? Whoa! Shit! That... That was brilliant, actually. That was... That was really good. Right. I need to find a way to wash the foreign object I just got. Sink. Right, yes. Oh, we've lost the water? First the power, now the water! What the fuck? Right. Um... Upstairs? Actually, you know, yeah, there's there's another bathroom, actually. Let's try the, the toilet or the sink up here, right? Okay, forget the toilet. Let's try this. There, there must be water here. Well, let's see. Yeah? Yes, okay. Ooh. Oh, boy. What? This isn't happening. This is this is a memory. It must be, right? It must be. I didn't just chop off my finger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chapter four. Uh, whether we did or we didn't, we'll find out here. Are we all right? Nah, that was yeah. That was just a weird memory. What is this? This is a pretty fun game so far. So here we go. We got the the point finger. The the index finger, I suppose. Uh, right, let's give the finger to the old man. Even now, I can't sprint. After everything that's happened to me, I still have no sense of urgency. Right, okay. Do we use the finger here, maybe? Alright, there we go. Hello. What's up? Well, sir, I found the finger you asked for. Hey, let me see. Good. Well done, kid. Now take this and get on with your work. There are two more things we need. Take what? Oh, uh, another key? So many old keys. Right, okay. Yeah, which room in the house will this open? Well, let's go and find out, shall we? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
Are we ever going to see that guy? He's always in the darkness. Maybe it was the one that I saw shaking his head earlier. Is it going to be for this? No? What about the one at the end? That's locked up as well, right? There's a chain and padlock. It's probably going to be inside, but... Let me just satiate my curiosity. Ah, never mind. Okay, so where haven't we been? Um, there's that door to the right. Hey, there you go. Didn't have to spend five minutes checking every door in the house. Good. Ah, uh, the lighter. Yeah. <laughs> it barely does a thing. Uh, we got the power back, but there's no light switch. Okay. Have I walked into a sweatshop here? What's going on? Oh, wait, yep. Oh no, no, sorry, I'm mistaken. It's another shrine. A photo of a man. Oh, hang on. A photo of a man. Right. What terrible thing is going on? Nothing on the back. I'm going to pick this up. There's another one over here. Another coffin, too. The second picture is a woman. Perhaps they were husband and wife. Right. Okay. Maybe I need to uh, put down some incense or something over here. Various offerings. What's this? Uh, the the photo of the deceased seems missing. No, no, it's not missing. It's just in my pocket. That's all. The man. Yeah, the man, and then the woman in front of her coffin, right over here. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm surrounded. Oh, okay. What have I done? Have I made another mistake? Okay. So, what, 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 what happened there? Right. This might be the the warehouse space that we read about being sold. I don't know. Right. So we got a desk here. Oh, okay. There might be something here. There is. Okay. It's a business journal. Right. Uh, July 1994. The business was not very positive. Right. Something else? A loan request form? Oh, I can't read Vietnamese, but I know that stamp. Denied, right? 100 million dong. That's a lot of dongs. Uh, yeah, okay. Refused by the bank. Is that it? Can't see anything else. Okay. What was that? Whoa! Whoa! Sh okay, no. No mannequin shit for me, thanks. We're, ah! Oh! Oh! Oh boy! Right, okay. Can we just get out of here, please? Ooh, whoa! Yep. Yeah. Okay. That might be a good thing. Hopefully there's nothing in there that I missed. Right. So, now what? We found the finger. We need to work on the tooth and the, the lock of hair, don't we? Maybe I could, you know, use something here and just pry out my own. <laughs> oh man, that jump scare really, really got to me earlier. Oh, oh! Okay. I guess we're going upstairs. Okay. Oh boy. What's going on? I hid all those toy figurines, only because that street rat played tricks on her. Please, help me. Don't worry. Please, try to give her the pills in this bottle. The depression will go away soon. If it doesn't, I'll force her to take them. There's a thing. These drugs aren't legal yet. Please, keep this as a secret. I know. By the way, about the money that I want to borrow from your father. I'll go back to make sure my father changes his mind. I'm sure it'll be fine, auntie. After all, the two families will become in-laws. That's right, you're right. 
I'll find a way to make Lynn forget about that poor student. Right. Because they knew better than her. Alright. We're going in. I'm still kind of concerned about what I saw at the top of the stairs. <laughs> it looked like a head. Like a deformed head. Ah, oh, these are the pills, right? Unlabeled. Yeah. Illegal, too. Hmm. Alright. I'm, yeah, I'm going to pick them up. Handwritten prescription. So there's white pills, green pills, and yellow pills. If she has a headache, buy her painkillers and a fever reducer. Poor girl. Should have just left her alone. I guess that's why I'm here, right? Yeah, I, I, she's kind of like haunting the place. She wants to tell her side of things. All right. Is there anything else here? Oh, hang on. Something in the fridge. Uh, the closet door is... It's not a closet, but yeah, it's stuck. I need something to open it. I... Okay. How was that? Oh, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. So you're the death, are you? Uh, and we're back in the room. Find a way to open the refrigerator door. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, there was, a, there was a bunch of tools down there, so... Hang on. Well, this is open now. Scissors! Okay. Well, I don't know if scissors are really going to help, but they can, you can cut fabric. That's the thing that I saw, right? That's what the bird was balancing on. And I can't use that? Hmm, strange. Anything else out of place? Not that I can see. Looks like we can't open the freezer either, right? What do we want in the fridge? Hmm. Right, okay. I think we need to go down and we need to pick up one of the tools, don't we? Or not. Oh, oh, hang on. What's this? Ah! I think I think this might be it. We got a crowbar! Great, okay. I can pry things open. Here we are then. The crowbar. Yeah. Looks like it's working. Oh! oh God. Wait, did you drop something? Bloody hell. Ah, right. No, shouldn't teeth be extracted from this corpse? Well, I mean, you know, when in Rome, right? We need teeth. Uh, yes. What's this, though? It's a puzzle game. Oh, it's a slide puzzle. Are you kidding me? Oh, nuts. Okay, uh, so it's meant to look like this, is it? Okay. That's doable. Probably. There you go. I think that's the bottom row done. Okay. Two rows down, three to go. There you go. It's all coming together now. And this is going to be the hardest bit, I think. Done, right? Everything seems to match up. Okay, it's it's E to... Oh, end it. Right, there we go. Okay. Again, all for a key. Man, the, the Viet Tiep key. A hidden key in a puzzle? Which door will it open? Well, there's only a couple left, actually. Right. Okay. Well, that's not really going to help us out with the teeth thing, is it? So, uh, let's see. I mean, the pliers? That's not working? Apparently not. No, maybe that's overkill, you know? I'm just going to, like, mash their entire face up. Huh, okay. Well, maybe we need to figure out where this key goes instead. Really? It's not this one? Well, that's strange. Um, well, it's got to be one of the ones outside then, right? In the corridor. Ah, yeah, yeah, one of the ones that ha have padlocks on them. Because I think we've been everywhere else. I don't know if I really want to go in there again. Yeah, let's go out. Right, let's see. It could be this one here. 
Oh, it is! There you go. Alright. So, through this door... Oh, we're outside! Right. Okay, can't I just, like, hop over the wall here? Alright, what's this? <laughs> That's not good. That's not what I want to hear. Okay. What we got, then? It looks as if there was something behind the leaves, but I, I can't get to it with their hands. Okay, well, hang on. Um, scissors? Hey! Ah, look! Another one! How many of these will we find? This one's a middle-aged woman. Right. I still can't understand. What do these mean? This one's got a number on it as well. Do they all have numbers on them? Like, so the woman's... Yeah, so we got one... Two, three. This guy. Oh, I don't know where his number is. Oh no! Yes, I do. Six, I think. What's all this for? Is it going to be a code for something? Maybe. Maybe. Right. Right, so I, I don't do anything down here. I just found another doll. Oh, what's this? Didn't notice this. Oh, hang on. Crow beak pliers. Oh, perfect for removing teeth, yeah? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, boy. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, 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 okay. Whew. It does seem to be cooling it down with the jump scares a little bit, the, you know, the later on in the game that we get. I'm quite thankful for that, honestly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Looks like it's still chained up. Alright, well, presumably, all we need to do is just get back up there and pull the tooth out, right? Here we are. Wait. Wait, where's the body gone? Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, uh... Where has the body gone? Is it outside? Did I just leave it behind? Oh, what's this? What? What was that? I think that may have been an animal. Oh, God. Right, hang on. Uh... Where is my lighter? Genuinely, where's my lighter? I don't seem to have it anymore. Oh, the bulb broke. I, right. Okay, uh, well, we're not going to go in there. I need to find myself another lighter, I think. And, wait, you're back? <laughs> okay, alright, you just wanted to uh, have a little walkabout. Sure. So... Yeah, the pliers. Yeah? A human tooth. There you go. The old man downstairs said I needed this to get me out of here. For some reason. Yeah. How does he know all this? Like, what? This seems so bizarre. This doesn't seem right. It really doesn't. I think, if anything, what I'm doing is I'm just letting a deranged old man get off. You know, he's just a horrible pervert, probably. A finger? A tooth? And what? A lock of hair? Okay. Well, hey, but these are the two hard ones, right? So, we're pretty much done. Okay, so, like last time, I suppose, just use the tooth with the door? Yep. Hey, in there. I found the tooth. Okay, he's going to examine it and make sure it's an actual tooth. Keep on working, there's still one more thing we need. A lock of hair, right? What? What, I have to get that as well? You didn't give me anything? What? Well, I guess I've got scissors, right. Can I just use the scissors on myself? Why can't he use, like, some scissors on himself? Is he bald? Oh, the scissors have gone. Right. 
Okay. Yeah, maybe we're both bald. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it needs to be a specific lock of hair. Again, no help in the top left. I suppose that would just go into the mannequin area, wouldn't it? Do we need to go back outside? Back in the house? Let's go back in the house. Oh, here we are. Okay, chapter five. The chapter where hopefully we find this lock of hair. But where? The body? I mean, the body in the fridge, I think, did actually have some hair. Has it gone again? It's... <laughs> This corpse can't be relied upon. Oh I wish I could tell what was being said there. Sounds like wailing, honestly. Right. Still no luck in here. I can kind of see down there, but I, I don't see anything on the floor. It's too dark, really. Right, uh, let's go up here. There's only one place that we actually haven't been, and it's it's through this door. Hmm. No more tools left for me? No? Okay. Yeah. There are some areas in this game where it, it does feel like you're in the middle of butterflies. Right. Ah, Well, that's an infestation that I can actually get on with. Much better than cockroaches. I guess we're heading in the right direction then. I was going to say, some areas of the game where it does feel a little bit like a slog. Some of the puzzles do slow the pace down quite a bit, and then sometimes you don't really know what the next move is. Like, now I'm not really sure what I need to do. Is it time for rest? No. No, I don't think so. Maybe there's going to be something else waiting for me in the toilet. Or... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Who is it? Is it Anne? It is, yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I didn't hear anything. That's okay. I'll fax you the new info I got. Okay, he's got new info. Unfortunately, he doesn't hear me, though, and he's gone again. Right. Okay. Well, thankfully, the power's back. So, right, yeah, here it comes. What is it? A handwritten document, which is so bright I can barely see it, but thankfully there's the plain text version that says, On the night the three people died, that night, a young man was found hanged with the daughter of this family in her room. According to the investigation, this young man is the lover of his daughter, and on the night of the crime, he climbed to the second floor to enter the house. Looks as if they wrote, the family asked the press not to report this. Right. Oh. Oh, hello. Is it? It's the mannequin. This feels like a trap. Oh, yeah, just slam the door on it, right. Oh, what? This may have been in the demo, actually. Right, yeah, that's the daughter. With a forehead for the ages. Right. Okay, what's this? The advice of the shaman. This house is possessed by the death, so the whole family died. If not stopped, many other people living in the house will die. It was the daughter who hated her parents, so she told the two people's names to the death, so the death killed them. During the funeral, the daughter's coffin must be placed separately in a closed room, not parallel to the door. After the funeral, the daughter's body must be cremated. Then I will hold a ceremony to lock the soul forever, so that it will not continue to cause more family members to die. The ashes will be kept in a secret place in this house. Right. Okay. Do I need to go and find the ashes? Ooh. Oh. Oh, hello. The, the, the daughter, the boy, and the death? Not anymore. Right. Am I right in saying that in the demo I had to, like, pray here or something? Maybe that's what I need to do now. 
Incense sticks. No. Oh. A male student toy figurine. Right, another doll. Yes. What's that? The fourth? The fifth? Okay, hang on. There's something over there. That wasn't there before, was it? Or at least I, I don't think it was. Two cords. Rope to hang something. Huh. Alright. Um, like that. No. Is it one of the other figurines? Is it... Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe the other one goes here. Yeah. Whoop. And you're back in the room. Okay. Uh, oh, the, the mannequin's still there? But this time it's offering me something. A handful of hair. Right. Is this what the old man downstairs needs? Well, let's hope so. What the hell is this? A memory from the daughter. <laughs> Look at all those books. Wow. This is pretty cool. Right. You look like judge, jury, and executioner standing there. I heard that your family made an influence to force Long to drop out of school, he says. Don't you know Long is an excellent student in our school? Your private matter affects the future of a person. Go back and talk to your family. Right. Oh. Lies on me, I guess. Sorry. Oh dear. Yeah, poor girl. Poor girl. I should have just left her alone, you know? Oh, hey. <laughs> this is making me a little bit uncomfortable. Alright. Okay. Okay, well, hang on. I've... I've got the handful of hairs still. I've got the lock. Yep. The dummy was trying to help me after all. Okay, so, again, we're going back down to the old man, and... Well, we're gonna give him the third item that he wants. Come on. Can't you run just this once? Just for me. Come on. Oh, that's, again, why this game feels slow-paced sometimes. Right, here we are. I've got you everything. The finger, the tooth, and now the hair. That's it, I found a lock of hair. Oh, I didn't find it, it was given to me. All right, examine away. Good, good. Oh dear, finally I've got everything I need. Now you just go back home, wait for me a little while. I'll call you after work. <laughs> this has been a terrible mistake, hasn't it? Oh boy. You probably put the chains up. <sighs> okay, so I, well, I just go back and wait, do I? <laughs> oh man, every time I turn the corner and see this, it looks bloodier than before. God, that's, that's, that's a real mess. Oh, hang on. It's been so long and I still haven't heard anything from the old man. I have to go check his room out. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Feels like I was waiting for like five or ten minutes there, honestly. Just wandering around, looking for something to do. Here we are, then. Ah! Finally, we're inside. Now, where is this guy? Okay, hang on. Looks like we've got a little shrine here. Praying to the soul. Every day at the time of the rat, you must perform an offering ceremony with the following offerings. A pig's head, a bowl of pig's blood, one plate of white sticky rice, and sticky rice wine as well. When making offerings, it's necessary to sincerely call the name of the person 100 times who wants to call the soul. However, whether the summoning is successful or not depends on the charm of the caller or the person living in the summoning area. 
If the charm of the caller or the person living in the summoning area is not suitable, it may anger the ghost and endanger the person. If the necromancy is successful, not only can the ghost be seen, but they can also retrieve the objects they held before they died. Right. So has he been the cause of all this? Did he want some objects to be returned? I... I don't know. Right. Uh, oh, hang on, there are, there are too many documents in this room. I have to check them first. Okay. Here? It's a tattered old book with many pages torn off. Something here? Nice. Okay. Ah, here we are. Uh, after death, only the body is destroyed. But the soul still exists, depending on the merits of life. That soul can go to heaven, to nirvana, or to be reincarnated as a human or an animal, or banished to hell. Hell is considered a place of detention and punishment for evil spirits. In Buddhism, hell is divided into 18 levels. The souls are dragged to different levels according to the length and duration of the crime and the severity of the crime. A day in hell is 1,750 years on Earth. It takes at least 10,000 years, that is 13.5 billion years, to escape one level to reach another one. Who comes up with these numbers? Among those who were exiled to the hells, the most feared were those who, while living, lied to deceive others, causing the separation of other people's families or losing their lives. These people will go to the hell of tongue ripping. The little devils will open the mouth, then use steel pliers to fold and pull out the tongue, then go to the hell of trees of knives to be hung on trees made of sharp knives, funnily enough. At the end, the sole hell of steamers locked in a cage and steamed, then let the cold wind blow through the body. Wonderful. And there's yet more. However, there is still a way for such terrible criminals to escape the hell. This is an esoteric method that has been applied by some people. Whether it's successful or not is unknown, but considering the horrors of hellish punishment, they still risk doing the ritual. First, the perpetrator needs to get the objects belonging to the body of the victim, usually hair, teeth, fingers, or limbs. If they can't get them because the victim passed away, they need to perform an ancient summoning ritual. Now this ritual has been lost for a long time. No one knows how to perform it. Right, okay, so that's what he was trying to do. He wanted her to come back. He wanted them to come back so he could get all this stuff. He just doesn't want to go to hell. Oh, there's a key. There is still one more room in the house that is yet to be opened. Could this be the key to that room? Well, I hope so. Alright. Oh, look at all those pills. They're the illegal pills from before, right? So it's him? Page 666. Wonderful. Regarding the death, it has long been known that it is a bird-like animal with a red beak, which tortures and beats the soul late at night, forcing the soul to reveal the name of its father, mother, and children, to capture the souls of those people during the time when the loved ones of the dead are still in mourning. Therefore, the folk call it Truntang, meaning many people in the same family dying at the same time. However, according to the rumors of the ancients, there is a case where the death doesn't need to torture and beat the soul, but the soul still revealed the names of relatives in the house to take revenge for being badly treated by family members. There are also cases where two or more people die in the same place. That is, one person does not reveal anything, but the other person, or people, that died in the same place, reveals the name of the person's relatives as revenge. This case is known as killing with a borrowed knife. It is a crime so serious that future generations of this offender may have to suffer retribution or have to atone for past mistakes. Wow, okay. Anything else down there? Okay. So I've got myself a key. Maybe I should head back if there's nothing else. Uh, oh, shit! Okay, that <laughs> made me jump more than it should have, probably. That's what happened to him? Boy, right, okay. Yeah, I, I think it's time to go, personally. I think it's time we get the hell out of here. 
So all that effort, just for him to be put in a barrel. Man, okay. So yeah, it's it's got to be the key for the door on the top floor, right? The old man's key. Yep, it unlocks the door. So what's in here? Let's have a look. Oh. Alright. Ah, okay. Oh, five... Yeah, okay. So there's five numbers for, I think, the five dolls that I've got, right? Let's have a look. So there's the girl, the male student, the woman, the unknown toy, and the man toy. Five. Yeah, I think they've each got numbers on them as well. What order do they go in? Right, bear with me. I'm going to see if I can figure this out. Ah, yes! One, two, three, six, one, I think. In the order that I found the dolls. Right. Here we go. What's this? Oh, that, that might be an urn. Right? The ashes? I did think that maybe earlier we needed to find them. Right. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing with this? Daylight? Okay. This is looking pretty positive. Are we going out here? No, I don't think so. We're kind of blocked. Right, like downstairs then? Alright. Hey. Am I actually going to get out of here? I was beginning to lose hope, honestly. This seems like bait, though, you know? It seems like you're just setting me up for a fall. Madam, I brought you back to your parents. Okay, there you go. That was Tan Trung, everyone. Or however I pronounced it at the very beginning. Han Chung, something like that. The Death. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Whichever one you choose, it helps me out a great deal, so I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, what did you think about this one? Overall, I quite enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a slog at times, with some of the puzzles taking quite a long time. Uh, the fact that you couldn't sprint anywhere, there was no real sense of urgency, and you were constantly going back and forth with different keys, exploring the house and trying new doors, stuff like that. It did get a little bit tedious at times, but there were some really, really good moments, some really good scares, uh, some really good jump scares, especially at the beginning. It was a little bit overloaded with the jump scares at the beginning, I felt, but it did sort of ease off the gas by the middle and later stages of the game, which I appreciated. Some really nice looking locations, some interesting story, mythology and, and lore to all this as well, to really get stuck into. And although I may have been snarky at times, I really did enjoy it, and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Can I leave? Can I get out of here? Oh! Okay. Well that works. <laughs> Hi. Oop. Bloody hell, okay. Expect jump scares and bodies to be dragged along the floor. <laughs> Whoa! Hey. I, whoa, what the She could have just like pointed to it. <laughs> Why did she have to tell me it in a riddle? Maggots? What There doesn't appear to be any sprinting in this game! But he can sprint! <laughs> Fucking hell! And my name is Do the Dung. <laughs> Let's have a little look around. Whoa! Alright. All I'm trying to do is open a door. Calm down. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh god. Oh! What the hell? Oh. Oh boy. We've got a bit of an infestation here. No, we don't. Never mind. <laughs> oh, maybe we're going in there after all. Whoa! She. It's uh, a very famous puzzle, and uh, are we going to have to do that? Yep. Every move I make is the wrong one. Hello. 
Who are you? Oh, okay, right. We'll talk later, I guess. You'll regret it. You probably will. Whoa! Gee. Anything else? No? Whoa! Shit! Yes, okay. Whoa. What was that? Whoa! Whoa! Sh okay, no. No mannequin shit for me, thanks. Oh man, that jump scare really, really got to me earlier. Oh, oh! Oh! Alright, what's this? That's not good. Has it gone again? It's. <laughs> this corpse can't be relied upon. Right. Ah. Well, that's an infestation that I can actually get on with. This feels like a trap. That oh, shit! I was beginning to lose hope, honestly. This seems like bait, though, you know? It seems like you're just setting me up for a fall. 